Hey everybody, Maddie here with Back With A Mindset. Um, so, I've had people say before that I should try some stand-up. So, I decided I was going to write a little bit. Um, I've never done this before. I'm extremely nervous about doing it. Wanted to give it a shot, see what people think. I don't know how to do it. I've never done it. So, um, I'm a huge fan of comedy though. Um, I like a lot of old stuff. I like some of the newer stuff. Um... A lot of the stuff that I probably like would probably offend some people, but I'm not that kind of person. Um, so that's not my kind of comedy, even though I like it. But I figured to give it a shot. What I want to know from you guys, and I need you guys to leave me comments down below, is what you think of it. Um, I'm going to do something short. Um, I might split this up into two like sections. Like I might take a break in between just because... I am not 100% confident with this. I'm going outside of my norm and my box, but I figured I would get something. Um, so I'm going to start off with a story. Um, some people might have heard me tell it before, but I'm going to add on to it a little bit. Um, and hopefully you guys think it's funny. Um, it might go on a little longer because I am one of those people that I go off the top of my head. I improv a lot, all the time, actually. And, um, so I'm going to, I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see what we can come up with here. So be back here in a few minutes. Um, and I'm going to get on with this first, I'm wrecked right now. Okay. Everybody stay tuned. We're going to try this out. Leave me comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I stink. Let me know if it's good. Give me your opinion. I don't care. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Like I said, I've never done this before. I'm not expecting it to be good, but I'm giving my subscribers a chance to see firsthand what I can do, and we'll go from there. Be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Uh, some of you guys asked for this, okay? So this is not my fault. This is your fault that you asked me to do this, okay? You guys said that I should try doing stand-up. I'm gonna give it a shot. Worst case scenario, People don't like it, and it's like my normal everyday to day life. So I'm going to get on with it. Um, I do want to thank you guys for watching. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Maddie, name of my channel is Backwoods Mindset. Glad to have you here. Um, hope you like this. Um, it's my first time doing like a stand-up bit. Um, so I wrote some ideas down, but I, like I've said before, I do a lot of improv things. It just comes off the top of my head, so I had ideas. I wrote down a piece of paper. And I'm just going off of that. And that's what I'm doing. Hopefully this works out good. And hopefully you guys like it. So I'm going to start the story off. Kind of give you a little background. Um, so growing up when I was, I don't, know, I don't know, 10, 11 years old, parents got divorced. Um, I've never been close with my dad um, ever. Just didn't have a good relationship. Um, haven't talked to him in years. That's okay with me. Perfectly fine with it. Um, my dad, to kind of give you an idea, because you guys know how I am, my dad is kind of like if Eeyore and Chuck Norris had a baby. Um, he acts like Eeyore and kind of looks like a really out of shape Chuck Norris. Um, so anyways, um, I always wanted to be a good dad. And I know probably a bunch of you guys, you, if you have kids or plan on having kids, you want to be a good dad. When you have kids, that's nothing, that's what everybody wants. Well, I wanted to be the fun dad too. So I think Darcy was about two, maybe not even. Um, and Aiden was probably about three or four at the time. It's a Saturday, we're sitting on the couch and Mrs. Backwoods Amanda says, hey, Darcy needs diapers. I said, okay. We had a grocery store right around the corner, walking distance. I mean, like a thousand feet away, if that. So I start, I put on my coat, it was winter, and my shoes, and I start walking across over to the grocery store, and I get into the parking lot, and I hear someone yell, hey, white boy, and I'm sitting there, and I'm, I'm looking around, and I say, I'm looking, and I hear it again, and they said, hey, white boy, and I go, and I see a woman in a car with her son, and I, I go, yeah, I go, I go, um, I go well, can, can I help you? And she goes, 
you want to buy some turtles? And I'm sitting there, I'm like, um, yeah, I didn't know. Was this like, was it actually turtles? Was it drugs? I didn't know. So, um, I'm like, and then she pulls up the cages and I'm like, oh, okay, they're turtles. This is okay. I'm, I'm good. So, um, I go, yeah, I go, uh, I go, how much for the turtles? She goes, uh, one for 15, two for 25. I was like, um, and then she goes, how much do you want? How many do you want? I go, two. Come on. I'm going to save five bucks, right? $5 off a turtle. Best deal ever. So, um, at the time we were real poor and I had like a prepaid bank card and that's all I had. I didn't even have any cash on me. Um, so I go, Hey, let me go into the grocery store. I'll go get the cash. I'll come back out and, um, and give you the money. So, um, and she goes, oh, that's fine. So she's sitting there waiting in the car um, with her little boy. And I walk into the store and I go get the money out. Um, and luckily it was one of those ATMs that you could take fives out of. So I got the 25 even. And I come out and uh, I walk over and hand her the money. And she thanks me. And I grab the turtles and turn around and I start walking back to the apartment. So I'm walking back. I'm like, I'm the best dad in the world. This is so cool. Uh, my kids are going to love this. And it was going to work out because in my head, like, we already had a tank set up in the kids' bedroom. They had some little, like, goldfish in it or something. And I think that at the time, I think, I don't even think they were alive anymore. Like, they, I don't know if there were any goldfish in there, but we had goldfish. So I uh, <clears throat> come and I go and I um, knock on the door. Um, and Amanda comes over and opens up the door and I walk in and I got the turtles behind my back. They're two little plastic cages like people would put like crickets in, something like that. And I got them behind and um, Aiden and Darcy are in the living room and Amanda goes over and sits on the couch. I go, hey kids, I got a surprise. And they're sitting there and I turn around and I go, I got you guys turtles. So the kids are all excited and they're they're uh, freaking out, you know, and Amanda's sitting over on the on the couch and the kids are looking at the turtles and Amanda looks at me and she's giving me this weird look and I'm sitting there and I'm like isn't this cool I got two turtles they were 25 bucks now we were poor at the time okay so like I'll get on with it she goes where are the diapers I'm sitting there I go I just went and spent 25 bucks on two turtles and didn't get diapers. So I felt like an idiot. But who can pass up two turtles for $25? You just can't do that. Especially when they're giving you five bucks off on the second turtle. It's a deal. Anyways. So we go. And I'm like, I'll go back. And I'll go get diapers. I go, let's go put them in the tank. You know, so like I like washed out the tank. And like cleaned it up. And got it all ready for these. Put new water in it. Got it all ready for these turtles. And we put the turtles in there. We ended up naming them um, Shaniqua and Sinbad were the name of the turtles. So Aiden and Darcy had uh, Shaniqua and Sinbad, the turtles, um, that we had for quite a long time. I ended up having to walk back over, and it was a walk of shame. I had to go over, get, um, get the diapers, and come back. Luckily, Mrs. Backwoods didn't murder me, so we were good there. Um, but... I made my kids happy and it's a funny story to look back on um you know things it's I'm an idiot though I've never not admitted that I was an idiot but yeah so that's that's what it's uh that was my first time where I actually felt like I was losing my losing my mind a little bit I just totally forgot about those diapers it was all about making the kids happy but the kids got two turtles. Amanda ended up getting her diapers, and it all turned out all right. Okay, so there you go. Um, I don't know how I felt about that. I'm going to put it out there, see what you guys think. Um, suggestions, comments, anything, leave them down below. Um, I gave it a shot. It didn't feel like a stand-up, and I didn't have, like, a zinger at the end. I know that. Um, I don't know. Anyways, that's kind of some of the stuff that I might have to use. I don't know. 
I, I could probably add more to it. If I added something after it, it might have been funnier. I, I don't know. Let me know what you think, though. Um, be honest. Like I said, I really appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you've never seen a bit. Um, if you, you know, if you're new, you don't want to miss a video. So uh, that's what I got. I really don't know how I felt about it. Be honest. I guess try to be nice because I'm still like, I'm sweating from it. Uh, I don't know. I, I, just, I don't know. I don't know how I felt about it. Questioning it. Questioning even putting it out. But I think I'm going to do it. So we'll see. So if I do, you'll see it. Bye, everybody. Slam on and have a good night.